New tonight, the woman known as the serial stowaway is caught again, but how? It's just the latest incident for this career criminal. Tia Ewing live with more tonight. Tia. And how she was apprehended sounds like something straight out of a Hollywood movie. Her ankle monitor was outfitted with GPS tracking, a phone, and even had an alarm that was activated. And now she's in police custody. This is where 69 year old Marilyn Hartman was stopped in her tracks. It's a good security contest person. There's been a lot of embarrassment in the past. She's gotten on planes. She's caused trouble. Hartman has been living in a residential facility. Her arrest comes two weeks after a plea deal for a pending case. She was set to get 18 months of probation and court ordered mental health treatment. At noon Tuesday, her ankle monitor, outfitted with GPS, was tracked leaving that same residential facility. It showed her heading here for O'Hare International Airport's Terminal 1. The device even has a phone built into it. It was called, but Marilyn Hartman didn't answer. An alarm went off after it was activated on Hartman's ankle monitor. She was taken into custody by the Chicago Police Department. We're dealing with a situation here where even with the most aggressive control to stop this person, there's still kind of this risk that uh, she's somehow going to get through and get on a flight. Hartman did not enter any secure areas this time, but she's admitted to doing this at least 30 times where she has boarded flights. This is video from back in January of 2018 without a ticket. She managed to make it on to a flight and travel to London. I will say the system worked this time. And of course, Marilyn Hartman, also known as the serial stowaway, will be back in court tomorrow, this time facing felony escape charges. Live from O'Hare, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 News.